My name is Ugna, I model for Distinct, and I'm sharing a few of my must-have items with you. So, item number one is the Celestial Lush Moisturizer. Um, it's my favorite moisturizer, I use it daily and night as well. Uh, it's got great oils in it, and yeah, I absolutely love it. It makes my skin incredibly soft all the time. It's a bit heavy, so if you don't quite like that feeling, you might, it might not be for you but I don't mind and yeah, it's completely transformed my skin. I absolutely love it. Hey guys, um, I am gonna start today with some of my skincare essentials that I always have. Um, so the first would be, this is my cleanser. I absolutely adore this cleanser. It's so quick at taking off your makeup and really taking it off. It's the Emma Hardy Amazing Face Moringa Cleansing Balm. So that comes with the cloth. As I said, it's really good. It smells absolutely amazing. Um, I just, a little goes a long way. It's pretty expensive, but it does last for a long time. And I got this in the Marks and Spencer's Beauty Hall. Um, that's one place that you can get it anyway. But yeah, brilliant product. Uh, cruelty free as well. Hi, my name is Lara and I am with Distinct. So for my go-to essential look, it would just consist of three products. A moisturizer, a brow product and a lip product. So for moisturizer, I use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream and this works really well for my dry and sensitive skin. My second tip is doing some hot cloth cleansing at night. So that means getting a cream cleanser, something like Ultra Bland from Lush or the Camellia and Rose cleanser from Pi. This was a lot pricier and fancier, but uh, Anne got me this, so I'm using something posh at the moment. And what you do is um, you massage that on your face and as you're massaging it, you can already see the makeup dissolving. I particularly enjoy that, you know, the whole thing of having like all the black around it. It looks kind of freaky and cool. So, um, so you do that and uh, you're already, you know, helping remove the dirt. And then the second step is getting something like a muslin cloth or a towel. I'm really sensitive, so I use a muslin one. But um, if not, you can just use a normal towel. Just only use one per day. Once you've used it, you know, wash it. Um, and what you do is you open the top, you have hot water. You should still be able to get your hand in there and not get burnt, like don't get crazy with the heat. So um, you, you put the muslin cloth in the water and then you remove the excess and um, you start, you know, kind of removing the cleanser and that way you're removing the dirt and you moving the, the makeup and it's like a mild exfoliation but also sort of like a second cleanse and that way you're going to let your skin breathe um, you're going to obviously clean your skin better and any other product that you're going to put on top of that is going to penetrate deeper because and be more effective because there is no buildup of cells and uh, your skin's clean so yeah that's really life-changing so the product that I can't live without is the Embryolisse Le Creme Concentrate. I first heard about it when a makeup artist actually used it on my face for a shoot and I loved it. And then my friend got it for me uh, this Christmas um, as a present. So as you can see, it's already running out. Um, I love it so much. It's basically a moisturizer, but it works really well as a primer, especially on my face um, because makeup tends to just melt off. Um, yeah, so I really love it and I would give it five stars. Okay, so some of my favorite beauty products at the moment, I'm just gonna talk about them now, have been um, the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. I will use this after I've been to the gym. In the morning, I typically just splash my face with cold water um, to get you awake and get the blood flow in and it cleanse properly at night time, so I don't feel the need to in the morning, don't dry my skin out. I would use this one just after the gym to get all of the sweat out of my pores so I don't break out. Whereas at night time, I would use the Liz Earl um, Hot Cloth Cleanser and Exfoliator. These are divine products, they're cruelty free, they smell amazing, you feel like you're at the spa, honest to God. My second item is actually more of a type of item and it's chemical exfoliators. So I use both of these, I alternate between them because the cleanse one is a bit more heavy duty and I feel like it would dry out my skin if I used it every night. Um, this one is Ordinary Lactic Acid 5%, they have a 10% one as well. Um, so yeah, I prefer the cleanse one, it's, uh, it's 
it's just better i think i wake up with extremely smooth skin afterwards but the ordinary one does its job too uh, so a chemical exfoliator well as, as as the name suggests it exfoliates your skin and instead of a for example a physical one which is more of like a scrub which you scrub on your face and yeah it just keeps my skin extremely clear and i think that if you've never tried one you should definitely check it out because if you use them all the time, they really clear up your skin and make it extremely soft. So this is Walida Skin Food. Really, really good moisturizer. It's very thick, so some people don't like it and some people don't really like the smell, but I love it. And you can use that in your hands, your face, anywhere on your body that needs a moisture surge. This is an amazing product. Um, for brows, I like to just use a plain taupe eyeshadow. Um, I'm able to use this in my brows. I can mimic freckles with it and I can also use it as a contour. Um, second, no, third, third thing is um, the Willida White Malu Nappy Change Cream. I don't wear nappies, but <laughs> but I have um, quite allergic and reactive skin, and I'm prone to dermatitis. So um, if you have dermatitis, eczema, uh, or you know any sort of skin condition similar to that, this is going to save your life. I had really, really, really bad hands for around six months last year and I tried so many different hand creams and soaps and nothing was healing them until um, uh, one of the girls in the health store recommended this to me because it has, uh, well apart from, you know, many other nourishing ingredients that I cannot see here because they are not written at the back in the box and um, it has a zinc oxide so that creates a protective barrier on the skin that um, keeps the moisture but also zinc is very important for the um, repair of cells so if you are adding extra zinc they're going to repair faster and this healed my hands in probably three or four days and they were really bad so i recommend this to everyone it's really really good um two other products i love are the so you get this in Superdrug, the Vitamin E Skin Care Hydrating Mist. It smells like summer. It is amazing. It smells like sun cream. And it just gives your skin like a nice bit of um, hydration. And apparently it's a dupe for the MAX, um, what is it? The Prep and Prime Spray or the Fix It Spray? I'm not sure, but it's meant to be legit it in another form. And another spray, facial spray I've been loving is the Atlantic Aroma. Ooh, aromatics rose water spray and um, this is another spray I like to use just throughout the day it just keeps your skin really uh, moisturized and keeps you feeling alive so now my the last sort of item is my uh, is my perfume it's Marc Jacobs decadence and it smells incredible <laughs> um, it I'll, I'll, I did my research and I'll read out the tones for you so the top notes are plum and saffron, the heart notes are rose, iris, and jasmine, and the base notes are amber, vetiver, and papyrus. You just imagine what that smells like. Um, yeah, but it's, it's quite a sweet scent, so if you're not into that, you might not like it. But if you do, and you prefer sort of like complicated sweet scents as opposed to the very like heavy and candy-like scents, you you might like it and yeah i absolutely love it i wear it every day it's too bad it's too expensive <laughs> Art loss cosmetics love these guys they don't test on animals this was a gift um from the wonderful paloma that works with me and it is a palette i'm not normally a fan of palettes because like they just end up in my bag and i don't use them but these guys are beautiful and here you can see you have like your this is a highlighter, your blush, you've got two shades of bronzer, and then over here you've got like a powder, um, and it's like a radiance powder, so it's really, really beautiful. So I swear by them, bring them everywhere. They are expensive, as I said, but you know, some things are worth it. And the packaging is so beautiful. Who doesn't love Marvel? And finally, my essential look wouldn't be complete without a fast, some Vaseline on the lips. I also like to put this through my eyelashes, because it moisturizes them and gives the illusion of mascara without actually having to wear mascara. Um, yeah, and my nan even heard of that one as well. She said she saw girls do it when she was younger, so that's an older tradition. But yeah, I like I really like it. Uh, then I have two hair products, which are the Angel Wash, aka shampoo, and Angel Rinse, which is the conditioner. And they are from Kevin Murphy. 
they are cruelty free well everything i've shown and i will show is cruelty free uh, they're cruelty free they have no parabens they have no sulfates which is really important for me because sulfates and harsh detergents again they irritate my skin so i avoid them and uh, they're for fine colored hair so now that i dye my hair i know you thought that i was a uh, you know natural red hair but i'm not uh, it's the great job of michelle from maven and so i i get the shampoo in there actually and this is really good it's the best shampoo i've ever had my hair is really fine never has any volume but um this protects the color and kind of you know volumizes it better than any other shampoo did before and it stays clean like for a long the last two things i'm talking about are the i'm sure everyone's heard this name by now the mario badescu um it's just the silver powder i get like blackheads around my nose gross i know but i find this has been really helping use it a few times a week you just i'm sure you can read up on it i don't know how long i'm taking this video so i won't go into it but you can read up on it if you're interested Last thing is my Burt's Bees lip crayon in this color here. I'm not too sure what shade that is. Napa Finyard. Anyway, I love to use this on the days I don't really want to wear makeup or if I'm just going to the gym or if I'm just going to work. I just dab a little bit on my lips and a little bit on my cheeks. Now I know it's a dark color, but if you dab it on, it'll just come out like this really. 